President Bush were here tonight, he would also say to Richard and Jeremy, congratulations. Outstanding job. Washington, D.C. being such an active city, there are two ocean events taking place tonight. This one, and another one out at Mount Vernon, George Washington's home, where the Hermione, the replica of the ship that brought Lafayette and the troops from France to our shores. It arrived recently, and tonight, with the Ambassador of France and a variety of individuals, including the Minister of Ecology, who was with you earlier this morning, they're having a beautiful dinner out there as well. They also brought a 250-year-old cask of Hennessy cognac. <laughs> it will be tapped tonight, and at dessert, it will be served. I was at that dinner. <laughs> Do you see the importance of this event? What are you all doing after dinner? <laughs> all right. Uh, these magnificent marine conservation, the sanctuaries. I tell you, I had the great honor of traveling with First Lady Laura Bush in 2007. When we went to Midway Island, you saw some pictures of that, uh, where we fed the seals. We did so many things. This magnificent woman of great dignity and class, but also just the love of the outdoors. When we went to the governor's residence in Hawaii, and we met with so many of the citizens, uh, the members of the press, there was almost this collective holding of breath as the First Lady was to talk about the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands, would she pronounce it? Let me tell you something. There's not a thing Laura Bush doesn't do with exceedingly excellence. And she said, we are so proud of Papahanao Mokuakea. And this cheer went up. <laughs> Brian did it too. Let me, let me tell you something, though. You, you saw from the video I mean, the rich treasure of this. This is something that for five years, five years of a process of bottom-up, including all of the local citizens, local leaders, and as a former governor, I made it very clear we had to have the governor of a state, Linda Lingle, who did such a great job as governor of Hawaii. And after five years of a process, it was ready for the next step, which would be another series of years. I think you saw from Jean-Michel Cousteau. That was, a, that was a tipping point, because when President Bush and Laura Bush saw that magnificent documentary, and President Bush knew the years that have already been invested in this, this one man made one decision, and he said, we're going to do it now. And so rather than continuing a process, he did it. And here's the point. Not only was it done, it was done right. It was done as a model of how you should do things to reach out to so many people that have a stake in this. And that name, Papahanao Mokuakea, what is the derivation of that? That name came from the Hawaiian elders. The Hawaiian elders, because what it really means is mother, father, earth, sky. The combination of mother earth and father sky that gave birth to the islands and to the Hawaiian people. Papa Hanau Mokuakea. What a magnificent name for magnificent sanctuary.
the rich treasure which, as you saw the graph, the rest of the world followed the leadership of President George W. Bush. It's a tremendous story. It's something that we can all be proud of. It follows the legacy of conservation of the United States of America. There are some individuals that I think we need to, in addition to the fact that the President and Laura Bush are receiving this award, I need to compliment Jason for his leadership of this foundation. Um, Jason, it's when you do appropriately acknowledge leadership that it is emulated and others say we can do this as well. So Jason, thank you for the award you are giving to the Bushes. There is someone else who should be here tonight that really should probably be speaking. It's Jim Connaughton of CEQ. I spoke to Jim earlier today. We reminisced about the significance of this. But Susanna and Kate Connaughton are here. Would you stand so we can thank you? Great. And just a few other members of the team, and I don't know if Spencer was here tonight, but uh, Admiral Lautenbacher was a tremendous help from NOAA. He and I were able to really... Uh, the United States military played a key role, beautiful role in all of this. But also, let me just name a few other people on my team, teams that were there. Lynn Scarlett, Brian Wademan, Cameron Onley, Tom Gibson, Michael Weiss, um, Sylvia Earle, in just a moment, I think, is going to join us. Boy, there's a lady. <laughs> Sylvia, you are a deep thinker, and we love you for that. Tonight, we celebrate dreams and ideas which you had as well. Uh, I would also acknowledge that the Cousteau family and all that they have done. Remember when we had the birthday party that would have been for Jacques Cousteau? We all got the red caps. Um, to Jacques Cousteau, Jean-Michel, all of the magnificent members of the Cousteau family, thank you for what you mean and the fact that you now see it becoming a reality. And one other thing, every year there is the Ocean Sciences Bowl and for the last two years, a high school in Boise, Idaho, Boise High School, has won. And the captain of that team is Nate Marshall. And I'm really proud of Nate. I look forward to seeing Nathan a little bit later tonight. But, uh, you know, when you have a landlocked state, but you can have dreams, and you look at magnificent realities like this. So on behalf of George W. Bush and Laura Bush, may I just say thank you, because together, together, the leadership of America, but the citizens of America, with the technology, the know-how, the passion, the drive, and the vision, and the tenacity to make great things happen, tonight we celebrate greatness. Tonight we celebrate Papa Hanau Mokuakea. God bless you.